Hey everyone, this is Leslie with the Plaid Poodle. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am going to show you um, the new in colors, which are um, I think a little throwback to the 80s and 90s. I had um, I had walls painted this color, folks. <laughs> the sweet sugar plum, and I think I paired it with a little bit of this emerald envy. But these are the new new in colors, and I thought I would. Um, just showcase them in these cute little um, note cards. Also very on trend right now are pineapples. I don't know if you've all been out into the world, but there are pineapples and flamingos everywhere I go. In fact, I wasn't going to get this um, stamp set when it was presented to us um, in our pre-order at the Stampin' Up! Um, um, on Stage Live, but in April, but when I got home and I just flamingos everywhere flamingos and pineapples everywhere and pineapples um, stand for hospitality so um, and I'm, I've just fallen in love with this stamp set it's called pop of paradise it's, it's very tropical and very on trend and then for the sentiment I used the thoughtful banners stamp set and I might have um, shown this in a previous video but I just love all of these different um, sentiments that you can use and it has three different banners or four actually um, that coordinate with the new um, duet banner punch and also the the new I'm not sure what this one's called um, but I'm sure I'll be using a lot of it because it replaces the word window that was retired, the word window punch that was retired. So anyway, um, these are very, very simple cards to make. Really cute just to tuck into a um, a gift bag or a gift um, set on a coworker's desk, stick in a lunch box. Um, just adorable. So what I've done is I've taken, they're three by three cards, so I've taken um, a six by three inch piece of card stock, and this one's already scored, but I'm going to show you how I did that. I used my Simply, actually I used my stamp and trimmer, not my Simply Scored scoring tool, because it's just so simple. And I used my scoring uh, blade, and I just scored it at three inches, and that's the card base. And then for the layers, I've used the um, layering squares framelits. These are awesome, guys. There's so many of them. Let me see. Does it tell me how many of them there are? There's a kajillion. 19. But they're all made to layer within each other. You can make frames with them. Um, perfect for framing out scrapbook uh, photos or pictures. Um, so anyway, I've, I've used two of the framelits from that set, one to make my black base, and it's scalloped, I don't know if you can see on this card, the scalloped edge, which I love, and for that, for, for the basic black layer, I used a piece of 3 by 3 inch a black card stock, and I ran that through with the Big Shot, my magnetic platform and you, I use this size and I'll have all the dimensions and the actual tools I use listed on my blog at www.thepladpoodle.com so you can, all, you can check it out there if you miss it and then for the, the uh, stamped image I used a little piece of Whisper White cardstock that was two and a fourth by two and a fourth and I used um, just the plain square not the scalloped edge and my Big Shot and Magnetic Platform okay let's stamp I use this cute, 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 cute um, stamped image, and the color I'm using on this sample is the Dapper Denim, which I think is one of my favorites. I'm going to stamp up my ink, and guys, you know me, I'm a little obsessive. I want, I want that pineapple to be right in the middle, so I'm going to use my um, stamp on my jig and line that up right where I want it. Sometimes I just go with the flow and sometimes I just want to be perfect. 
there. Oh, I got a little 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 scrap. I pressed too hard. That's the new inks are very juicy, so you do have to be a little careful sometimes because those these ink pads they stay inked up forever, but they do get very juicy, and you don't have to press very hard. Just a very light impression. Whoops. Perfect. Okay, and so then I'm just going to adhere that to my the little um, basic black frame that I made with the layering frame right in the center. And I'm going to attach that to my card front using Stampin' Dimensionals. Love Stampin' Dimensionals. I tell you, when you raise something up and give something a little bit of depth, it just takes kind of an ordinary card and makes it just a little bit more special. At least in my opinion. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stick that right in the middle. And now I've taken the very tiniest, tiniest, I don't even know if you can see, piece of Whisper White cardstock, just a scrap, and it measures about 3 eighths of an inch wide by one and a half inch long. And I'm going to take the thank you sentiment from that uh, Thoughtful Banner stamp set and my basic black ink. And I'll try and do this without getting my head in the shot, but it makes it pretty easy because it's photopolymer. And we can see exactly where that stamp's going to go. Yay. And then I just flag the end a little bit with my snips. And you know to do that, you just cut in just a tad in the center and then from each corner. easy as that. And then I also, I, I raise that up a little bit. I just cut a little of this, I don't need very much Stampin' Dimensional on that, and I, I raise that up as well. I use every square inch of this pad of Stampin' Dimensionals. You can use the outside edges to frame layers on your cards. Don't waste piece of it. I'm just going to stick that on there. And then for the center of the card, so I can write my um, little note, or I could stamp something, but I'm just going to leave them blank so I can use them to write a sweet little note to someone. I'm taking a piece of 2 and 3 fourths by 2 and 3 fourths Whisper White cardstock to fit right there in the center. So, um, finishes off the card. So there you guys go. This is the Sweet Sugar Plum. This is the Flirty Flamingo, which is um, pink. This is a Peekaboo Peach. This is the Emerald Envy, which I think is one of my favorites and is going to be a lot of fun at Christmas time. And this is the Dapper Denim, which I really like too. And in, in com combination, look at that Dapper Denim with the Peekaboo Peach. Love, love that combination. I mean, all of them really, um, just really pretty. But anyway, guys, that those are the new in colors. Um, I hope you like them. Um, What's your favorite? Comment comment below and let me know what your favorite color is. And uh, maybe I'll follow up with a um, project in your favorite color. Anyway, thanks for joining me. And you have a great day. Um, for more ideas and inspiration for paper crafting, visit my blog, www.thepladpoodle.com. Bye-bye.